Well, David, good morning. Good morning, Salim. Now, let us take the two sides of um, uh, risk. And uh, of course, that is, um, uh, we would like to know what is the difference between risk and uh, uncertainty. And are these the same or different? Yes, you might think this is just a question of language, that we have a lot of words uh, and uh, some of the words just mean the same thing. And is risk the same as uncertainty? Um, the answer is no, they're not the same. Um, all risks are uncertain, but not all uncertainties are, risk. are risks, exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, how many uncertainties are there in the world, do you think? Well, there are billions. I mean, we don't know, do we? Yeah. Uh, if you have a, um, a project and you want to write down a risk register, do you have billions of things in your risk register? No. Of course not. So we filter these billions of uncertainties that are out there, of all sorts of things that might happen that, that we have no idea about mm -hmm. and somehow we reduce it somehow we filter it to say here are 20 or 50 or 100 risks so what is the the filter that we use to say there's billions of well there's, we don't know how many uncertainties these are the ones that we're going to write down in our risk register we have to have some kind of filter some kind of mm -hmm. subset um, which ones do we need to record think about manage and review, monitor. And the distinction is very simple, I think. Um, Which there, is? <laughs> what is it? That's what you want to know, yes. isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, if you go back into history, uh, some people distinguish between these things mathematically. Um, Frank Knight, there's Knightian uncertainty and Knightian risk which you'll yes. be familiar with. Yes. Uh, some people distinguish philosophically, some people distinguish linguistically. Yes. I have a very, very simple filter. We talked in the ISO 31000 standard about a five-word definition of risk, the effect of uncertainty on objectives. I have a three-word definition of risk, which is uh, even simpler than the ISO definition. It's this, risk is uncertainty that matters. Because most of the billions of uncertainties in the world don't matter. So is it going to rain in London this afternoon? It might, it might not. Do you care? Does it matter? No. no. It doesn't matter to me at all. It's, it's irrelevant. It's, it's an uncertainty, but it's not a risk. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to write it down and try and manage it. I have mm -hmm. a daughter who lives in London. Uh, she has a baby who she wants to take to the nursery mm -hmm. this morning. Uh, if it's going to rain in London this afternoon, she needs to take a coat for the baby. She needs to take an umbrella for herself. She needs to think about it. That matters to her. It's a, for her an uncertainty that matters, for me an uncertainty that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do when we're trying to identify risks is to find the uncertainties that matter. Now, here's the question. What matters? How do you know what matters? Mm -hmm. And here we find the link to objectives. We talked earlier on in this of series course. of questions yeah. uh, that risk is always and only linked to objectives. With no objectives, we have no risks. That objectives are what is at risk. Objectives are what matters. We're here to deliver objectives, whether they're project objectives, portfolio objectives, corporate objectives, national objectives, social objectives, or personal objectives. There's something that we're trying to achieve. And what we're looking for is the uncertainties that could affect those. So behind the definition in the ISO 31000 standard, risk is the effect of uncertainty on objectives, is this simpler idea that risk is uncertainty that matters. And from this, we, this simple three words, we have two halves of the risk. All risks are uncertain, yes, but all risks matter. And so what we need to do when we're thinking about what goes in the risk register, everything in the risk register must be uncertain, Mm -hmm. If it's not uncertain, it's not a risk. But also everything must matter by being tied to objectives. If it doesn't affect one of my objectives, I don't care. I don't need to think about it. It's not a risk to me. But what is not a risk to me might be a risk to you. Of course. So, because we might have different objectives. And so what we have to do is always think about what my objectives are. If I identify a risk in my project which doesn't affect my objectives, Maybe it affects somebody else's objectives. Maybe I need to pass that risk on to you and say, I found this, it's not mine, because it doesn't affect my objectives, but I think it might be yours, 
because it affects your objectives. And as we talked earlier on about organizations being a hierarchy of objectives, different things matter at different levels. And so what we have to do is understand that different things matter, there are different levels of risk. And then we think about something that matters to me, uh, doesn't matter to you, it could be the other way around. Mm -hmm. I find a risk which could affect one of my subcontractors. It matters to them, it doesn't matter to me. Something that affects my customer might not matter to me. So all of these things are related to things like risk ownership, which we'll talk about later on. But if you want to remember a really, really simple definition, definition of risk, uncertainty that matters, just three words. That's the simplest definition I know. Let me try to understand more. If that means, from what you have said, if that means that uncertainty is an event where you don't know the consequences, you don't know the probabilities and likelihood and cannot be treated with statistics, for example. However, the risk, you know the uh, consequences, you know the likelihood and even probability of that risk will happen. Is that correct? Well, that's what Frank Knight came up with, the Knightian uncertainty, the difference between being able to measure and, and not being able to measure. Mm -hmm. I, I think I disagree, mm -hmm. because uh, uncertainty or risks are not just events. Risk is any uncertainty that matters. And if we go back then to the ISO 31000 definition, the effect of uncertainty on objectives. And I mentioned that the ISO 31000 standard has principles, 11 principles. One of the principles is that risk management addresses all types of uncertainty, not just events. So there's lack of knowledge. Uh, if I don't know something, it creates uncertainty. There's variation. If I'm going to do something, but I'm not sure how long it will take, then it's not that there's a, a, an issue around the probability. I know I'm going to do it, and there's no impact. It's just I don't know how long it will take. So there are different types of uncertainty, but any uncertainty that matters is something I need to think about and something I need to prepare for and try to manage. David, if this is the uncertainty we are talking about most of scientists use in scientific area, most scientists, they talk about uncertainty. Yes. Is that the one we are talking about or something different? It, it is that. So it's, it's scientific uncertainty. It's also psychological uncertainty, social uncertainty, relational uncertainty, any uncertainty that matters, but certainly that includes uh, the uncertainty that people would, would uh, describe in the scientific realm. Excellent. Thank you, David. Thank you. I appreciate it.